and welcome to Sam Crawford Field on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. Austin McNorton here with you on this Tuesday afternoon, a very warm, sunny Tuesday afternoon. You're tuned in to Wahoo Newman Warrior Baseball. We're taking on um, Nebraska City here on this Tuesday, and there's out number one in the top of the second on Sam Rovetto, who's out in right field today, swung out. Swan. Nebraska City comes into the, into the contest with a four and six overall record, and this is their designated hitter today, Ben Cheney. The Warrior pitcher today, the lefty Eli Johnston, who throws a strike on the outside part of the zone. Nebraska hit City had a hit back in the top of the first. And Sloan Pelican, who was the shortstop today, he was left stranded at first as it was two outs and then the final out was a pop-up to second. Here in the top of the second, it's a leadoff walk, a single out in the left field from the third baseman, Zach Hawley, a strikeout, and now Ben Cheney stands in the right-hand batter's box against the lefty pitcher. Wahoo is coming off of a win yesterday against Takema Herman. <coughs> Ticked and hung on by Isaiah Nagel. So back-to-back -back strikeouts by Eli Johnson. That's his third strikeout of the afternoon. And Wahoo, after giving up two leadoff base runners, now faces the nine-hole hitter Grayson Flash. He's out in left field today defensively for the Pioneers who are here in their road gray pants, yellow jerseys, purple numbers. Wahoo in their home white on whites with blue numbers, blue hats. And the Warrior W. Here in Sam Crawford Fields, the best afternoon we've had for baseball this season here in Wahoo. Great throw there either, gets to the dugout, and so both runners advance into scoring position. Not great defense there at all by the Warriors, and there's Two runners in scoring position with two outs after trying to pick off the base runner at second. Oddly, it gets way into the outfield, and then Connor Boost throw nearly went into the Warrior dugout, which advanced Zach Hawley up to second. So Holman's at third now. <laughs> Hawley's at second with two outs. And this one's popped up. Will it stay in play? It will. And it's the third out. You're tuned in to Wahoo Baseball in Saunders County Online, and we'll be right back after this. If you're looking for a new career, Dollar General is looking for you. Hiring all positions and all shifts, they are looking for you with a starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. You can find details by going to dollargeneral.com slash careers or by texting DG Warehouse to 25,000. Must be 18 or older, but again, starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Contact them now, dollargeneral.com slash careers. Stop at First Bank of Nebraska to get our new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card. Every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. All you need is a First Bank of Nebraska checking account and ask for the Warrior card. For more information, go to firstbanknne.com. First Bank of Nebraska, serving our communities, investing in you. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. Stop at First Bank of Nebraska to get our new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card. Every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. All you need is a First Bank of Nebraska, serving our communities, investing in you. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Stop at First Bank of Nebraska to get our new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card. Every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. All you need is a First Bank of Nebraska checking account and ask for the Warrior card. For more information, welcome back to Sam Crawford Field in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska.
Thanks, everyone, tuning in. We were getting our, our mic situated there for the first inning, and here we are now in the bottom of the, the Pioneers of Nebraska City here on this Tuesday evening. It's the 3-4-5 hitters due up for Wahoo after Isaiah Nagel, Carson Sabatka, and Connor Booth grounded out to the shortstop, second baseman, and third baseman. So Wahoo had good contact, but now just trying to get the ball out of the infield, and Nolan Van Slyke can't get things started as he starts with a strikeout. Out on the mound today for the Pioneers is Keston Holman, the righty. At first today, or yesterday, for the Warriors in their victory over Takema Herman. Cody Hesser went the distance, and there's a strike right down the center. Wahoo won 11 to one yesterday against the Tigers of Takema Herman. Here from Sam Crawford, and this one is sent up into the air and right at the shortstop Pelican for out number two. So it's been five up, five down for the Warriors here today after such a successful offensive day yesterday, more so than their offense. He says their offense has kind of been a little slow going here so far this season, and so they've relied heavily on their defense, which has been pretty good today also. Here's Cody Hesser, who was the player of the game yesterday as he threw it complete, only gave up one hit and one run, and four walks, and he stands in the right-hand box, and he's over at first today defensively for Wahoo. Work of it, and Hesser smokes one out to center field, and it drops right in front of Van Winkle out there. And the Warriors have their first base runner and first hit of the afternoon thanks to Cody Hesser. And we'll see if Jace Kaminsky now can continue this two-out rally after Hesser sent one out into center field right in front of Van Winkle out there in the grass. Not much wind today, a little bit coming from the right to left mostly, but not much. It's really just a pretty beautiful day for baseball in eastern Nebraska. First pitch to Kaminsky. You want to talk about pulling a string. That's it. Kaminsky was way out in front of it, so much so that it was basically in Kennery's glove after the fact, after Kaminsky swung it, and now he's down in the count 0-2. Kaminsky's bat was on all the way around to his other shoulder before that got into the glove. And the next pitch right down the center, so Holman is dialed in ahead 0-2. The pitch high and inside just missed that top left corner. One and two. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Thanks to all of our sponsors. They're the ones that make this thing happen. For Warrior Baseball this season, off to a 9-3 and three start after their win yesterday and a wild week last week. Hesser goes, and he'll get there sliding without a throw as Kennery's not really worried about it with two outs. And Kaminsky is now even to the count up. Jays looks over to Coach, getting the sign and ready to go. Wahoo will await as far as this Trailblazer conference goes after this 2-2 pitch. And a long look back at Hesser. Just missed high. It's full. Wahoo awaits the winner of Plattsmouth and Platte Valley playing today in Plattsmouth, as Plattsmouth the two seed, Wahoo the three seed, Nebraska City the six seed. Swan on and missed strike three, so we'll continue that story when we come back as it's the second strikeout. It's one hit, no walks, no runs, and one left on. We'll head to the top of the third scoreless. You're tuned in to Warrior Baseball in Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public, and we'll be right back. Go to firstbankne.com, First Bank of Nebraska, serving our communities, investing in you. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. 
Stop at First Bank of Nebraska to get our new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card. The outcome of a legal case can have long-lasting ramifications on your finances, quality of life, and community standing. Choosing the right law firm to represent your interests and your rights is of the utmost importance. The law offices of Brome, Lindell, Freeman County, and Losterer traces its history of providing legal services to residents of eastern Nebraska back to 1893. So give us a call at 402 443-3225 or stop into our office in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska today. The outcome of a legal case can have long-lasting ramifications on your finances, quality of life, and community standing. At Medicine Man Pharmacy, we aspire to be the pharmacy provider confidently chosen by our clients for their family's everyday health needs because of our expertise, integrity, and honestly consistently exceeding their expectations. Reliability, bright spot, value, integrity, community building, and so much more can be found at Medicine Man Pharmacy of Wahoo. At Medicine Man Farm. Welcome back to Warrior Baseball on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. Austin McNorton here with you on this sunny Tuesday afternoon from downtown Wahoo, Nebraska at Sam Crawford Field. Here we go, top of the third. We are scoreless after the Warriors did get their first hit in the bottom of the second, but left Cody Hesser stranded at second. So we go to the one, two, three hitters for Nebraska City and Jesus Martinez grounds one right to Carson Sabaka, long throw, and it's picked up by Hesser. One pitch, one out to start out the third inning. Carson so good over there from that shortstop spot for the Warriors this season. He doesn't miss a lot. So here comes the two-hole hitter, Chase Van Winkle. He's 0 for 1 today with a strikeout. That was in that first inning. And his first pitch is flied off into the parking lot. Did you get a good parking spot over there? Ah, she parked way far away. That's a good move. Baseball is the most unique sport when it comes to spectator attendance. Any other sporting event you go to, football, volleyball, basketball, you name it. And it's a swinging chase from Chase Van Winkle. That pitch was almost so far inside it almost hit him. But anyway, it's the most unique sport in the fact that spectator-wise it's the only sport where the fans park farthest away from the interest that they can be. Football, basketball, volleyball, anything. You're trying to get as close to the entrance as possible. Baseball, quite literally the opposite. You park very strategically and very far away. You're fine walking if it means when you walk out, you're getting to a a windshield that's not shattered. Pitch way inside again is grounded foul down the third base side. It has been three strikeouts today for Eli Johnston, as we'll pull up his numbers in a moment. And the count... One and two on Van Winkle. It's grounded right back up the middle to Johnson. He gloves it himself, flips it over to Hesser in time for out number two. Two up, two down for the three-hole hitter Sloan Pelican. He's one for one today with a single back in the first, and he was left at first at the end of that top of the first. But like I was saying at the end of that second inning, Wahoo awaits the winner Or Nebraska City awaits the winner. Whoever wins today awaits the winner of Plattsmouth and Platte Valley. That's the two versus seven seed in the Trailblazer Conference Tournament. So if Plattsmouth wins, Wahoo will travel there on Thursday. If Platte Valley wins, then it'll be another Saunders County battle here in Wahoo on Thursday afternoon. So it all kind of depends on how that game goes and Platte Valley really kind of depends on their pitching staff for who can win. This one is absolutely crushed to deep left field. It's gone. A home run to straightaway left for Sloan Pelican, who's two for two today with a base hit and a home run. That's the first home run that I think I've seen at the high school level this season. Sloan Pelican does it for Nebraska City. Touch them all, and the Pioneers have a 1-0 lead here in the top of the third. Wow. 
absolutely crushed. If I'm willing to bet, that's probably the first home run that Eli Johnson has given up this season. He's appeared in two games with a 7 ERA. And Eli this season has given up eight hits, five runs, two walks. He struck out seven batters now. And, yes, that is the first home run he's given up in 12 batters or in, correction, 32 batters faced this season. So Nebraska City with three hits today and a run now. How about that? Now I want to pull up. I, I If I'm willing to bet, I would say that's probably Sloan Pelican's first home run of the season, but it was crushed and stayed fair down the left field line. So major credit there. And this one has popped up to right field. And making the catch on the run is Sam Markson for out number three. So with one hit, no walks, one run, and nobody left on. On the solo shot from Sloan Pelican, Nebraska City takes a 1-0 lead. You're tuned into Warrior Baseball, and we'll be right back after this. Hot Oil and Propane is continuing to be family-run and owned for 60 years. OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at oopincwahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years, thanks to you. Hot Oil and Propane is continuing to be family South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online, southhaven-wahoo.com. South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online, southhaven-wahoo.com. South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska... Welcome back to Sam Crawford Field in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. Austin McNorton here with you. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in on this Tuesday afternoon. And Sloan Pelican gives the... Pioneers of Nebraska City, a 1-0 lead as we head to the bottom of the third inning. Due up for Wahoo, it's the 8-9-1 hitters. And that brings up Caden Christen into the lefty box, and he takes one off the end of the bat and off the fence foul. But Sloan Pelican, my gosh, we pulled up his numbers during the break. He has been incredible this season. Ten games played. He has a 486 average in 35 at-bats. He has 17 hits, 10 runs, 8 RBIs, tough play, and a picked up over there by Dollinghouse for out number one as Caden Christen grounds out. And that brings up Sam Markson. But Sam Pelican, yeah, 8 RBIs this season, 3 doubles, and 2 home runs. He has been great for Nebraska City this season. He's 2 for 2 today with a single and a home run. And Nebraska City leads 1-0 here in the bottom of the third. It's the nine-hole hitter, Sam Markson. He lays a bunt down the third baseline. Hawley, a long throw over to first, is in time for out number two. So two up, two down quickly for Wahoo. They only have one hit today, and it was Cody Hesser. But now we go to the top of the order, Isaiah Nagel. They've had some balls put into play and made the Pioneer defense work, but Nebraska City's defense has been great. And here is Isaiah Nagel. He's in the catcher's gear today for Wahoo. And he grounded out to 
Pelican over there at short. So he's 0 for 1 today. Wind blowing right to left, sun shining. It's a warm day and a great crowd to show for it. This one is grounded up the middle to the second baseman and got over his glove. This will be tough, whether it's an error on Jesus Martinez or it goes down as a base hit for Isaiah Nagel. I'll be interested to see what they officially score that. I think it was a pretty hard hit ball, so if I was willing to bet, I'd say it's a hit, but nope, they say it's an error. <laughs> right, right. So unfortunately for Isaiah Nagel, it goes down as an E4, but he is on. And another two-out rally here potentially for Wahoo. So yeah, that's an error, not a hit that time. And that will bring up the other lefty, Carson Sabatka. He's 0 for 1, as he did ground out to Jesus Martinez. Well, that took a crazy hop, and it was hit really hard at Jesus. And it just went over the top of his glove and into right field. I might have said base hit with just how hard a hit it was. It wasn't an easy play, but I guess you could probably count it as routine. Now trying to steal second, a good slide, a really good slide, because it was an incredible throw by Kennery behind home plate. And Isaiah Nagel is in scoring position now as he goes up to second. Runner at second. Two outs and a big lead, a huge lead over there at second for Nagel, really. I wonder if he's trying to steal third again. Pitch goes high on Sabatka. And Carson now just trying to put a ball in play and see if Isaiah can come home. The count one and two. And Connor Booth standing on deck. Swan on and missed, strike three, down goes Carson Sabatka. It's no hits, no walks, no runs, and one left on. We head to the top of the fourth. It's Nebraska City 1, Wahoo Newman 0. You're tuned into Warrior Baseball in Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public, and we'll be right back after this. Wahoo State Bank gives you the home team advantage. From the beginning of your financial experience with Penny Partners, Kids Club with Richie Rover to student checking for those age 15 through 25, offering a variety of benefits that make banking easy when you're home or away, or if you're looking to finance the future home. Wahoo State Bank has the home team to work with you through life. Member FDIC. Wahoo State Bank gives you the home team advantage. From the beginning of your financial experience with Penny Partners, Kids Club with Richie Rover to student checking for those. We have a popcorn shrimp basket, which includes fries and a cocktail sauce. And finish your meal with a cool treat. Sundays, blizzards, malts, and shakes are everyone's favorites. Stop in or order yours ahead using the DQ app, and we'll have it ready when you arrive. The Wahoo DQ, located at 1122 North Chestnut in Wahoo. Lent season is here at the Wahoo DQ. We have a wild Alaskan fish sandwich. Get it in a meal with fries and a drink. We have a popcorn shrimp basket, which includes fries and a cocktail sauce. And finish your meal with a cool treat. Sundays, blizzards, malts, and shakes are everyone's favorites. Stop in or order yours ahead using the DQ app, and we'll have it ready when you arrive. The Wahoo DQ, located at 1122 North Chestnut in Wahoo. Welcome back to Sam Crawford Field on Wahoo Public YouTube and Saunders County Online. Austin McNorton here with you on this very warm and nice Tuesday afternoon for Warrior Baseball taking on the Pioneers of Nebraska City today. Here we go, top of the fourth. Nebraska City leads 1-0 to zero after the solo home run from Sloan Pelican, and now it's a leadoff base hit. For the five-hole hitter, Keston Holman, who's on for the second time today. He walked back in the second inning and now is on again. For the Pioneers, who are starting to get after Eli Johnston a little bit. And that brings up Zach Hawley. He's one for one today. As he had a base hit back in the second inning and was left stranded at second. As there was a runner at second and third with nobody out. It was back-to-back -back strikeouts and a pop-up to the catcher. Strike one on the outside part of the zone. Oh, 
The warrior crowd was trying to will that strike into existence. I like the effort. Swan on a miss, strike two on a pitch that goes high and outside. The runner at first is the pitcher Keston Holman over there for Nebraska City. The one, two. Swan on and miss, strike three. A big strikeout for Eli Johnson after the one pitch single to start out the inning from Holman. 0 for 1 today with the strikeout. As Eli Johnson now has four of those today for the Warriors. And throwing back to first, not having to slide is Holman. As his teammates kind of helped him for that one for him to get back in time. One. And Eli, after that leadoff single, seems like it hasn't phased him a lot as he's really doing a good job of putting the pitch where he wants it. Right there again. Great pitch. Swan on a miss, strike two. There's been a hit in each inning for the Pioneers. Four total today for Nebraska City. Runner goes, pitch outside, called strike three. So it'll be two outs as Ravetto tried checking his swing, could not. He's down on strike, so there's two away. Holman does steal second successfully off of a decent throw from Isaiah Nagel. But there's two away now with a runner in scoring position for Ben Chaney, the designated hitter. He's 0 for 1 with a strikeout. As it almost looked like there's two away with a runner at second. Good breaky ball right down the center. Strike one. Wow, what a pitch. Lefty on righty here today. Outside just missed the top right corner that he was trying to hit. One of the few times it hasn't been a strike, Eli Johnston here in this inning. One and one, two away and a runner at second. For Nebraska City who leads one to zero after the solo home run in the top of the third. But really it's been their pitching that's been great. From Keston Holman, who is the batter who stands at second right now. One and two. Johnson sets. And fires. It just missed. That's exactly where he wanted to put it. He wanted Ben to chase it. He did not, and the count's even. Check swing. It gets away from Nagel. And luckily, Ben Chaney didn't know if it was strike three, and it was, so that's out number three. Boy, that was pretty unlucky there for the Pioneers as Ben Chaney thought it was ball three. Instead, it was strike three, so he kind of stood in the batter's box for a bit. So it's a leadoff single, no walks, no runs, and one left on for Nebraska City. They still lead it one to zero as we head to the bottom of the fourth. Warriors do up. You're tuned in to Wahoo Baseball, and we'll be right back after this. Well, that was on. If you're looking for a new career, Dollar General is looking for you. Hiring all positions and all shifts, they are looking for you with a starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. You can find details by going to dollargeneral.com slash an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Contact them now, dollargeneral.com slash careers. Every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. All you need is a First Bank of Nebraska checking account and ask for the Warrior Card. For more information, go to firstbanknne.com. First Bank of Nebraska, serving our communities, investing in you. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. 
Stop at First Bank of Nebraska to get our new Wahoo Warrior branded the right debit law card. law firm to represent your interests and your rights is of the utmost importance. The law offices of Brome, Lindell, Freeman County, and Loster traces its history of providing legal services to residents of eastern Nebraska back to 1893. So give us a call at 402 402- 443-3225 or stop into our office in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska today. The outcome of a legal case. You are tuned in to Wahoo Newman Warrior Baseball on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube, Austin McNorton in a beautiful weather day at Sam Crawford Field in downtown Wahoo, bringing out everybody. There's Mike Simons making an appearance today, just coming right down the street from his home store. Warriors three, four, five hitters do up. And in stands Connor Booth, 0 for 1. Puts it back up the middle, and that'll go down as an infield single for Connor Booth. And a leadoff base runner for the Warriors on just their second hit of the day. He hit it right back up the middle over the glove of Holman, who made a jump on it off of the mound. And then the shortstop Pelican tried to get a glove on it as well. It went in and out. Nolan Van Slyke batting it's a new batter for wahoo and that is number three trying to see okay yeah yeah yep that's jesse stebbing standing in for our nolan van slyke nolan went 0 for 1 with a strikeout in the second inning so just truly a batting situation he stands in the right hand box with Connor Booth, one of the fastest players, if not the fastest player on this Warrior baseball squad, standing at first, and you wonder how aggressive he'll be. And Jesse, wanting to show bunt, pulls it back, but a strike called. The infield is in. Holly stands on the grass over there at third, so he's super ready. So you'll see if Jesse can try and put this thing back up the middle or over down the first base side. Or if Connor Booth just tries to steal, and yes, he does, and now he'll go back to first. Boy, Kennery behind home plate got up there quickly. <laughs> and Connor saw how quick that he got up, and he was about a fourth of the way down to second and said, Nope, I'm headed back. One ball, one strike, nobody out with one on. For Jesse Stebbing, pinch hitting for Nolan Van Slyke. Good throw. It skips out of the glove of Pelican, but Booth won't go anywhere. It's a successful stolen base for Connor Booth. A decent throw from Kennery, but at the last second, it skipped up off the grass and in and out of the glove of Pelican covering the bag. And so Connor Booth is in a scoring position with nobody out for Jesse Stebbing, who you wonder now if the bunt will be. Shows bunt. And pops it up, but just drops in foul territory past the glove of Holly. Boy, that was a risky and lucky play for Wahoo. And this one is sent down the right field line and will go foul. Two balls, two strikes, a runner at second with nobody out for the pinch hitter, Jesse Stebbing. The pitch, swung on a miss, strike three. Connor Ruth is into scoring position, and here comes Eli Johnson, who's trying to help himself out after he gave up the home run. And a 1-0 deficit. Eli Johnson, lefty on righty now. Trying to put... This one is sent right back over us into the cars behind us and over to the Elite Exteriors vehicles, and it bounced off the roof of a SUV back there. That's not where you parked? Nope. Good call, good call. Nope. 
Booth. A decent lead over there at second. Pitch. Oh, a Bach. Did a Bach get called? So we'll do it again. Big spot now as really anything will likely get Connor Booth home to tie up this game in the bottom of the fourth. Here's Eli Johnston at the plate in the lefty box. The pitch just off the end of the bat foul, so he stays alive, and the Warrior crowd is fine with that. They like that effort. The count, by the way, is 0-2 on Johnson, so he's just really fighting. Can't have a strikeout here. And he sends one out in the word. Good hitting by Johnson, fouling off several pitches. Down in the count, 0-2. And, and the leadoff base hit comes in to score from Connor Booth on Eli Johnston's RBI single. Wahoo's third hit of the day is in first pitch swinging. It's skied into right in foul territory and will get down in front of Sam Ravetto out there in right field for the Pioneers. Game tied now here in the bottom of the fourth in this first round of the Nebraska Trailblazer Conference. Three seed on six seed here. Sliding back safely is Eli Johnston. And the winner of this game, UTAN and Meade High Schools, all kind of combine for a baseball team just the way Wahoo and Bishop Newman do here. Runner at first is Eli Johnston for Cody Hesser at the plate. This one is sent into right field. However, unfortunately for Cody Hesser, it's hit right at Ravetto for out number two. Two away now for Jace Kaminsky, who's 0 for 1 today with a swinging strikeout. That was back in the second inning. Kaminsky is playing second today. He was behind the plate catching all day, first trying to steal second. So it's two hits, no walks, one run, and nobody left on. We head to the top of the fifth. Tied at one, you're tuned in to Warrior Baseball on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public, and we'll be right back after this. Pharmacy. We aspire to be the pharmacy provider confidently chosen by our clients for their family's everyday health needs because of our expertise, integrity, and honestly consistently exceeding their expectations. Reliability, bright spot, value, integrity, community building, and so much more can be found at Medicine Man Pharmacy of Wahoo. At Medicine Man Pharmacy, we aspire to be the pharmacy. Years. OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at oopincwahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years, thanks to you. Hot oil and propane is continuing to be for an acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at oopincwahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years, thanks to you. Hot oil and propane is... You're tuned in to Warrior Baseball in Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. Austin McNorton here in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska at Sam Crawford Field with the sun shining the entire time. A perfect day for baseball as we head to the top of the fifth and this good one. We are tied at one and due up for the Pioneers is the 9-1-2 hitters. And that brings up the left fielder Grayson Flash to the plate first. He's 0 for 1 today with a pop out to Isaiah Nagel, the catcher, in foul territory which could have helped Nebraska City gain more of a lead rather than it just being 1-0. to zero. That Wahoo is now tied inside ball two. Well, you couldn't have a better weekend to have your high school prom here in Wahoo this weekend. 
It's prom a weekend. It's supposed to be like 80 degrees on Saturday. That'll be pretty perfect. Pitch. I really don't even know where that was. 3-0. Yes, and that's a strike. That was probably ball four. And now it's three and one. For Grayson Flash, who's just trying to be a leadoff base runner, which we know at all levels of this great game, leadoff walks are always so critical for pitchers. The 3 1 inside turned on over to Kristen at third. Long throw in time for out number one. Good job from Eli Johnson to battle back from being down in the count 3-0. and He gets the ground out to third. It's one up, one down for the Pioneers. <coughs> As we go back to the top of the order, the card gets flipped over to Jesus Martinez. Trying to get things going and looks at a pitch. Catch the bottom left corner for strike number one. I don't remember what any of the themes were for my prom either, to be honest, now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I went to two, I went to a prom in my high school my junior year, and then I went to my now wife's prom my senior year. I don't remember if there was a theme for either of them, to be honest. This one is grounded foul down the third base side. May have gone off the foot that time, too, of Jesus. Home plate umpire had a word with him, said, Are you all right? He's good. We're back in the box. I'm ready to go. One ball, two strikes. One out, nobody on. Top of the fifth, tied at one. This one. And here is the center fielder today for the Pioneers, Chase Van Winkle. He's 0 for 2 for Nebraska City with a strikeout. And he grounded to Eli Johnson and got out. This one skips away from Nagel for ball one. So Eli Johnson has been pretty great as a fielder as well. That's what they always say in this great game is, you hear it a lot, you know, from, from other sports as well, like like football, for example. You know, the punter is still a defender, still has to go make a tackle at times. In baseball, the pitcher, you're still a fielder, and you are the first fielder. You are the first line of defense. And Eli Johnson's been great at that today. The pitch, swung on and missed, strike two. Good breaking ball that time from Johnson. One ball, two strikes. Trying to go three up, three down for the first time today. I don't have any wood to knock on, but I get There we go, the clipboard, we'll count that. Just drops low, and the count goes full. Well, I tell you. Only one walk today for the Pioneers, and that was back in the second inning where the pitcher, Kesson Holman, had a leadoff walk. Inside, ball four. Gosh darn, that is all my fault. I shouldn't have said anything. It's a two-out walk for Chase Van Winkle, and there's a runner on first with two away for Nebraska City. After the ground out, to Flash and Martinez. Thought it could be three up, three down for the first time today for Johnson. And unfortunately now for Eli, he has to face Sloan Pelican again, who looks at a pitch inside strike one. Sloan didn't like the call. It looked pretty inside, I'll be honest, but Sloan gets the strike against him. He is two for two today with a single and a solo home run out to straightaway left in the third inning. This one skips away on Nagel. He will throw it to second, and it's nicely cut off by Kaminsky to prevent it from going into the outfield. But a runner in scoring position now for Sloan Pelican with a count even at one as Vane Winkle goes up to second. 
That's a great call. Head coach Wires for Wahoo put Sloan Pelican on with an intentional walk to get away from the best bat of the Pioneers order by far in Sloan Pelican. So there's two on now with two outs. And now you're facing the catcher, Tristan Kinnery, who's 0 for 2 today with a fly out to second and a fly out to right. That's a really good call from Wahoo coach Wires. He came out of the dugout and said, put him on. So there's two on with two outs. A, a strike gets called. It looked like a check swing, but went around enough for strike number one. And this one's off the end of the bat and foul. And Eli Johnson's ahead in the count 0 and 2. Not at all. I mean, it's completely my fault that this inning is still going on. There's no doubt about it. Because <laughs> you don't want to face Holman. Swung on, it just ticks off his bat barely. Because Holman today is one for one with a single in the fourth inning and a walk in the second inning. So you, he's really seen the ball well for the Pioneers today too. So if possible, Eli would love to end this. It is. So it's no hits, two walks, no runs, and two left on for Nebraska City. As we head to the bottom of the fifth, tied at one, you're tuned into Warrior Baseball, and we'll be right back after we thank our sponsors. The base company, give them a call or check them out online, southhaven-wahoo.com. South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online, southhaven-wahoo.com. South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Right Recognize benefits that make banking easy when you're home or away, or if you're looking to finance the future home. Wahoo State Bank has the home team to work with you through life. Member FDIC. Wahoo State Bank gives you the home team advantage. Ooh. From the beach. Lent season is here at the Wahoo DQ. We have a wild Alaskan fish sandwich. Get it in a meal with fries and a drink. We have a popcorn shrimp basket, which includes fries and a cocktail sauce. And finish your meal with a cool treat. Sundays, blizzards, malts, and shakes are everyone's favorites. Stop in or order yours ahead using the DQ app, and we'll have it ready when you arrive. The Wahoo DQ, located at 1122 North Chestnut in Wahoo. Lint season is here at the Wahoo DQ. Welcome back to Sam Crawford Field in Wahoo, Nebraska. Austin McNorton here with you on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. As we get you set for the bottom of the fifth inning, due up for the Warriors, it is the six, seven, or yeah, yeah, six, seven, eight hitters due up here for Wahoo. As Jace Kaminsky steps up, he's 0 for 1 today with the strikeout. He was left standing at the plate when Eli Johnson got tagged out trying to steal second for the final out of the fourth inning. Tagged at one. Jay's trying to be a leadoff base runner, just like Connor Booth was back in the fourth inning for the Warriors that came in to score. Kaminsky sends one to short. Pelican is there. Long throw in time for out number one. I'll tell you what, Sloan Pelican has been fun to watch today for Nebraska City. He's been so good at the plate. Good arm there from short. Here's Caden Kristen. He's 0 for 1 today with a ground out to first. 
Looks at a strike right on the outside part of the zone. This is the seven, eight, nine hitters. I think I said the six, seven, eight hitters to start out this bottom of the fifth. Another strike called on Kristen. Caden's over at third today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. This one skips in on Kennery. This one is hit out to left, and it is caught. What a play by Flash out there in left field for Nebraska City. It was hit right at him, and he made the diving catch for out number two. So unlucky there for Caden Christen. It's two up, two down for Wahoo, and that brings up the nine-hole hitter Sam Marks into the plate. Sam, he's 0 for 1 today as he grounded out to third back into the third inning. His first pitch skips in for a ball and goes back to the grass. Markson did not play yesterday for Wahoo in their victory over to Kama Herman. This one's crushed right out into Right field and right in front of Ravetto. It went off the end of the bat and sent the other way down the right field line, and it's a two-out knock for Sam Markson. Wahoo with their fourth hit today. And there's a runner on with two away here in the bottom of the fifth at Sam Crawford Field, and now we go to the top of the order. Isaiah Nagel is 0 for 2 today with a ground out to short back in the first inning. And then he reached on an error back in the third inning and looks at a first pitch strike. And he was left stranded at second after stealing second and then Carson Zabotka striking out. Opportunity here with a runner at first and two away and Markson slides back into first safely. Sam helped us out a lot during the high school basketball season, like so many of the Wahoo public students do out of the video class that head coach Brian Myers teaches. And then Isaiah Nagel gets hit by a pitch. So he's at first. That's the first time anybody's been hit today. So a big spot now for Carson Sabatka with a runner in scoring position being Sam Markson. And Isaiah Nagel for Wahoo standing at first with two outs. Carson is 0 for 2 today with a ground out to third and a sh or ground out to second, I should say, and a strikeout. Outside, strike called. Keston has done a good job for Nebraska City of doing, of getting ahead, I should say, in the strike count. As this gets away from Kennery, and they'll have two runners in scoring position now for the Warriors. Sam Markson goes up to third. Isaiah Nagel goes up to second. So there's Two on and both in scoring position now for Carson Sabatka. Big spot here. Swung on and missed. And it's one ball and two strikes on Sabatka who's really just trying to put the ball in play. Off the end of the bat, that pitch was high. It went off the top of the bat and back towards the Warrior dugout. 
So Carson stays alive. The runner at third is Sam Markson, who got the two-out single. Isaiah Nagel stands at second after he was hit by a pitch. Wahoo trying to take the lead in the bottom of the fifth. Sabatka sends it over to short. Right at Pelican. Throw. Perfect. Out number three. And no runs come across, unfortunately, for the Warriors. It's one hit, no walks, no runs, and two left on. To the top of the sixth we go, tied at one. You're tuned into Warrior Baseball, and we'll be right back after we thank our sponsors. Every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. All you need is a First Bank of Nebraska checking account and ask for the Warrior card. For more information, go to firstbanknne.com. First Bank of Nebraska, serving our communities, investing in you. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. Stop at First Bank of Nebraska. Long-lasting ramifications on your finances, quality of life, and community standing. Choosing the right law firm to represent your interests and your rights is of the utmost importance. The law offices of Brome, Lindell, Freeman County, and Loster traces its history of providing legal services to residents of eastern Nebraska back to 1893. So give us a call at 402 443-3225 443-3225 or stop into our office in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska today. The outcome of a legal case can have long-lasting ramifications on your finances, quality of life, and by community. confidently state. chosen by our clients for their family's everyday health needs because of our expertise, integrity, and honestly consistently exceeding their expectations. Reliability, bright spot, value, integrity, community building, and so much more can be found at Medicine Man Pharmacy of Wahoo. At Medicine Man Pharmacy, we aspire... Thank you. Welcome back to Sam Crawford Field in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska. Austin McNorton here with you on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. To the sixth inning we go and do up for the Pioneers. It is the five, six, seven hitters. And that brings up Keston Holman to the plate. He's one for one today with a single in the fourth inning and a walk in the second inning. So he's reached base two times today, has the Pioneer pitcher. As this game remains tied at one in this defensive battle. Holman trying to be another leadoff base runner. He's been a leadoff base runner every single time for Nebraska City, but has yet to score. He had a leadoff walk in the second, a leadoff single in the fourth. And wasn't even able to score either time. The pitch. This one is popped up. Two right. Markson is there. One up, one down. And Keston Holman is down for the first time today. That brings up Zach Hawley to the plate now. He's one for two with a single back in the second inning and a strikeout in the fourth inning. Eli Johnson trying to keep things rolling on the mound for Wahoo Newman. The pitch inside, strike one. Swung on and missed, strike two on a breaking ball that really had Zach fooled. Strike three, right in the top part of the zone. A great pitch from Eli Johnson. Gets Zach Hawley down on strikes looking. That's his first looking K today for Johnston. And his one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth strikeout of the afternoon. So we have a new batter in for Nebraska City in place of Sam Ravetto. He'll stand in the right-hand box. And we'll look and see who that is for the Pioneers. Looks like it's Callen Schnitzer standing in. (laughs) 
And Johnson starts him out with the first pitch strike. So Callen comes in to replace Ravetto in this at bat, who was 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. Pitch swung on and missed strike two on a great curveball that dropped down low. Eli Johnson starting to mix in some great breaking pitches now. Along with that high heat that just struck out Zach Hawley. The 0 2, right down the center. Off the end of the bat, down the first baseline, foul, and in and out of the glove of Sam Markson, who made a diving attempt down it out there in foul territory. Boy, that would have been a heck of a play. Sam a little bit slow to get up now. The ball rolled all the way to the fence, and now Sam will come back out to right field after Jace Kaminsky went out and helped him out get that baseball back. So you hope Sam is okay after trying to make an incredible out number three. But it's still no two count on Callen Schnitzer. The 0-2. Check swing as the pitch drops. And no, he did not go. After Nagel appealed to the first base umpire, he did not one and two. Nobody on and two outs. Here's the one two. High and outside, and the count's even, so a good job by Callen to work this thing back even after being down 0-2. And, two balls, two strikes, two outs, top of the sixth. Right down the center, strike three, looking. And down go the Pioneers in order for the first time today. No hits, no walks, no runs, and nobody left on base. We head to the bottom of the sixth, still tied at one. You're tuned into Warrior Baseball, and we'll be right back after this. Choosing the right law firm to represent your interests and your rights is of the utmost importance. The law offices of Brome, Lindell, Freeman County, and Loster traces its history of providing legal services to residents of eastern Nebraska back to 1893. So give us a call at 402 402- 443-3225 or stop into our office in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska today. The outcome of a legal case can have long-lasting ramifications on your finances, quality of life, and community. Be the pharmacy provider confidently chosen by our clients for their family's everyday health needs because of our expertise, integrity, and honestly consistently exceeding their expectations. Reliability, bright spot, value, integrity, community building, and so much more can be found at Medicine Man Pharmacy of Wahoo. At Medicine Man Pharmacy, we aspire to be the pharmacy provider confidently chosen by our clients for their family's everyday health needs because of our expertise. Welcome back to Sam Crawford Field on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. Austin McNorton here with you as we head to the bottom of the sixth, still tied at one. It's been a fun game. There's no doubt about that. A pretty quick game as well. As here we go, it is the three, four, five hitters due up for the Warriors. And Connor Booth steps in. He is one for two today with a ground out to third in the first inning and then a single in the fourth inning in which he came in to score. First pitch swinging out to straightaway center and caught. Van Winkle got an incredible read as that ball continued to carry back to the wall. And it's one pitch, one out off of a great catch out in center field. And here comes Nolan Van Slyke to the plate. He's 0 for 1 today with a strikeout back in the second inning. And then Jesse Stebbins came in to replace him in the fourth inning and also struck out. So this four-hole spot for Wahoo Newman hasn't been successful yet today. Love to get something going here. This one's off the end of the bat to straightaway right. Rosetto is there for out number two. Two up, two down quickly for the Warriors here on the bottom of the sixth. And that brings Eli Johnston to the plate with two outs and nobody on. Johnson in the lefty box. He's one for two today. As he flew out to the shortstop Pelican back in the second inning. And then... 
He had a single back in the fourth inning and was tagged out trying to steal second. First pitch, swung on and missed, strike one. It was actually off the end of the bat and hit the backstop. Cody Hester goes and gets it. And here's the 0-1. Right down the center, strike two. Had some good break on it late and caught the outside corner. The outside edge, 0-2. This is off the end of the bat. Hit to left. It will go in the gap. This will go down as an extra base hit all the way to the wall and a stand-up double for Eli Johnston. That thing got all the way to the wall. It kept carrying. Flash and Van Winkle both pretty much got there at the same time. Coach held Johnston at second rather than trying to get him all the way to third. And a monster spot now for the first baseman, Cody Hesser. Hesser is one for two today with a single back in the second inning and a line out to right back in the fourth. But a huge spot here as the winning run stands at second and watches a pitch go high. One ball, one strike. See if we can pull up Cody's numbers this season. Strike called, one and two on Hesser. Cody this season in the batter's box for Wahoo. Just a 194 average for the sophomore. A spot here to try and push the lead run across in the bottom of the sixth. Swan on a miss on a pitch way high for out number three. It's one hit, no walks, no runs, and one left on. So the two-out double doesn't come to help out the Warriors, and we head to the top of the seventh, remaining tied at one. You're tuned into Warrior Baseball in Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public, and we'll be right back after this. Continuing to be family-run and owned for 60 years, OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at oopincwahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years, thanks to you. Ot Oil and Propane is continuing to be family-run and owned for 60 years. OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at oopincwahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years, thanks to you. Ot Oil and Propane is continuing to be family-run and owned for 60 years. OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer, and sprays to help keep your lawn and pastures beautiful. Find them online at oopincwahoo.com, call 402-443-3563, or stop by 3288 Ponderosa Drive. OOP Inc. serving for 60 years, thanks to you. Ot Oil and Propane is continuing to be family-run and owned for 60 years. OOP Inc. is your Wahoo supplier for gas, diesel, propane, oil, grease, and products for your yard and acreage, including seed, fertilizer. Welcome back to Warrior Baseball in Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. Awesome McNorton here with you as we head to the top of the seventh, tied at one. It's been the solo home run from Sloan Pelican for Nebraska City, and then the RBI single from Eli Johnston for Wahoo. Those have been the only runs today for the Warriors as we remain tied at one in the top of the seventh, and it's the designated hitter, 
due up for Nebraska City. The 8-9-1 hitter is due up for the Pioneers against Johnson, who's pitched a pretty great game for Wahoo. He's given up just four hits, three walks, one run, and he has stranded five Pioneers on base. And the one home run is the reason this is tied right now inside on the next pitch. Thanks to all of our sponsors for making this game possible. We really appreciate it. The pitch right down the center, strike three looking. Had Ben Cheney fooled on that, and he's got three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back looking strikeouts on Nebraska City, and Eli Johnson is locked in right now for the Warriors. He got Zach Hawley, Callen Schnitzer, and Ben Chaney to all strike out looking the last three batters he's faced. Three, four, seven, eight, nine. That is strikeout number 10 today. This is blooped into left center and drops in between the gap of Sabatka, Van Slyke, and Booth. And it, it is a one-out single for the nine-hole hitter Grayson Flash here in the top of the seventh. And that flips us back to the top of the order to Jesus Martinez. With one on and one out. And Jesus is 0 for 3 today. This is back to first. Not in time. Jesus grounded out to second, short, and the pitcher all today in his three plate appearances. Way high and outside. Eli trying to find the zone again after getting three looking strikeouts in a row and then the blooper single out in the left center. The pitch, good breaking ball, catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Inside and ducking out of the way is Martinez. It almost clipped him on the inside part of his jersey. Big pitch here for Johnston. Swan on and miss, strike two. And the count goes full. Martinez has put the ball in play every single time today for Nebraska City. With now the wind kind of coming in shifting directions. And now the count is full as it bounced in on Nagel. The wind when this game started was blowing right to left. Kind of from southwest to northeast. It's now kind of blowing out of the northwest to the southeast. So it's blowing straight from behind home plate to straightaway center is the way the flag is blowing now and thrown back to first, not in time. And we'll do the 3-2 again. After Jesus called time, and then Johnson threw back to first. So here we go. Grounded up the middle. Sabatka is there to second for one. Over to first, not in time. It gets way away from Cody Hesser. Not a good throw at all from Sabatka. And sliding in safely to second is Jesus Martinez on the fielder's choice. Sabatka, probably an ill-advised decision that time to try and throw down to first when Jesus likely would have beaten it anyway. And unfortunately now, he stands at second with two outs so now Eli Johnson just needs to focus at the plate with a runner at scoring position the lead run in scoring position and two outs this has popped up on the infield Johnson has it out number three great job by Eli Johnson to get out of that one on the pop out and it's one hit no walks no runs and one left on we head to the bottom of the seventh still tied at one Warrior Baseball will be back after this 
Fact as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online, southhaven-wahoo.com. South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud Financial sponsor. experience with Penny Partners, Kids Club with Richie Rover, to student checking for those age 15 through 25, offering a variety of benefits that make banking easy when you're home or away, or if you're looking to finance the future home. Wahoo State Bank has the home team to work with you through life. Member FDIC. Wahoo State Bank gives you the home team advantage. From the beginning of your financial experience with Penny Partners, Kids Club with Richie Rover, to student checking for those age 15 through 25, offering a variety of benefits that make banking easy when you're home or away, or if you're looking to finance the future home. Wahoo State Bank has the home team to work with you through life. Member FDIC. Wahoo State Bank gives you the home team advantage. From the beginning of your financial experience with Penny Partners, Kids Club with Richie Rover, to student checking for those age 15 through 25, offering a variety of benefits that make banking easy when you're home or away, or if you're looking to finance the future home. Wahoo State Bank has the home team to work with you Welcome through back to Sam Crawford Field in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska. Austin McNorton with you on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. To the bottom of the seventh we go, still tied at one in one of the best pitching duels that I've seen this season. And a lot of the fans around in agreement. And a great crowd today at Sam Crawford as well. And boy, have they seen a treat of a great baseball game in the first round of the Nebraska Trailblazer Conference Tournament. The three-seeded Wahoo Warriors trying to walk it off now against the six-seeded Pioneers of Nebraska City. It's the 7-8-9 hitters due up for Wahoo, who are all 0 for, who are 0 for 2, except for Sam Markson, who had that two-out single back in the fifth inning. Jace Kaminsky stands in 0 for 2. And now 0 for 3 as he has struck out looking on Keston Holman, who's been spectacular and still remains out on the mound. So Kaminsky struck out twice and grounded out to short in his three plate appearances today. And now here comes the lefty Caden Kristen, who grounded out to first back in the third inning. And then he had a line drive out to left that was caught on a dive by Grayson Flash out in left field for Nebraska City. So he's 0 for 2, unluckily, for him today. Starting to get a little bit cooler now as the sun starts to set. And this is crushed out to center field, but right at Van Winkle for out number 2. Unlucky again is Caden Kristen. As you could hear how clean that was hit off the bat. Unfortunately for him, in all of this space out here in Sam Crawford Field, all the space there is, he hit it at the one person standing in straightaway center in Van Winkle. Two up, two down for the nine-hole hitter, Sam Markson, who's one for two. Check swing, couldn't hold it, one strike. Markson's out in right field today. Sam didn't play yesterday. This is off the end of the bat. Hit to second. Martinez is there for a routine ground out. And we're going to extras. It's free baseball on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public. To the top of the eighth we go. We're going to thank our sponsors and come right back. Don't go anywhere. This broadcast, recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online, southhaven-wahoo.com. South Haven Living Center in Wahoo is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Recognized as a great place to work, the folks at South Haven know the importance of teamwork and the reward that comes from serving older adults. If you're looking for senior care or a rewarding career with a Nebraska-based company, give them a call or check them out online, southhaven-wahoo.com. South Haven Living Center, FDIC. Wahoo State Bank gives you the home team advantage. 
From the beginning of your financial experience with Penny Partners, Kids Club with Richie Rover, to student checking for those age 15 through 25, offering a variety of benefits that make banking easy when you're home or away, or if you're looking to finance the future home. Wahoo State Bank has the home team to work with you through life. Member FDIC. Wahoo State Bank gives you the home team advantage. From the beginning of your finance. Welcome back to Sam Crawford Field in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska. Austin McNorton here with you on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. It's free baseball here in the first round of the Nebraska Trailblazer Conference Baseball Tournament. To the top of the eighth we go. It is the three, four, five hitters standing in now for Nebraska City. And that means Sloan Pelican will get things started for the Pioneers against Eli Johnson, who's still out on the mound for Wahoo. Pelican is two for two today with a single and a solo home run, which is why this game is tied at one. And then he was intentionally walked back in the fifth inning. So he has yet to be sat down, but now he's down in the count for the first time today, 0-2. Oh yeah. Right down the, oh, it just missed that top right corner. The Warrior crowd tried willing that into existence. And this one is hit to short. Long throw for Carson Sabatka. He got him. My gosh, what a throw from the shortstop Sabatka, who is deep in the infield for a big out number one. One up, one down. The first time Pelican's been out today for the Pioneers, and that brings up the catcher, Tristan Keenery. And Tristan today for Nebraska City is 0 for 3 with a fly out to second, a fly out to right, and this is hit to left center. Booth is there for out number two as he's now 0 for 4 with a fly out to second, right, center, and a strikeout. And here comes Keston Holman to the plate for Nebraska City. He is 1 for 2 today with a single back in the fourth inning. A fly out to right, that was back in the sixth, and then he walked in the second inning and was left stranded at third. Top of the eighth, tied at one. The pitch, first pitch swinging, is roped down the third base side and foul, barely. Kristen had a good read on it, though, over there on the bag and knew it was going to go that direction. Just goes down as a long strikeout, a long strike, I should say. You wonder what uh, both of these pitchers' pitch count is at. This is flied into foul territory down the first base side, and Hesser ran it all the way down to the fence, even though it was catch was not going to be made. Nice hustle, Cody. So good hustle from Cody Hesser. He couldn't make the play, though, and it's 0-2 on Keston Holman. Johnson trying to get another strikeout. Yeah. He does! A swung on and missed, strike three. It's three up, three down for the Pioneers. No hits, no walks, no runs, and nobody left on base. To the bottom of the eighth we go. The Warriors trying to walk it off when we come right back after this. We have a wild Alaskan fish sandwich. Get it in a meal with fries and a drink. We have a popcorn shrimp basket, which includes fries and a cocktail sauce. And finish your meal with a cool treat. Sundays, blizzards, malts, and shakes are everyone's favorites. Stop in or order yours ahead using the DQ app, and we'll have it ready when you arrive. The Wahoo DQ, located at 1122 North Chestnut in Wahoo. Lent season is here at if the Wahoo. If you're looking D for a new career, Dollar General is looking for you. Hiring all positions and all shifts, they are looking for you with a starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. You can find details by going to dollargeneral.com careers or by texting DG Warehouse to 25000 
Must be 18 or older, but again, starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Contact them now, dollargeneral.com slash careers. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's free baseball at Sam Crawford Field in downtown Wahoo, Nebraska. Austin McNorton with you on Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. Shout out to my twins in the NICU, who I won't get to see this evening. Miss Harper and Hallie, thanks for tuning in as well over there in Omaha. Here we have it, bottom of the eighth, tied at one. Warriors, one, two, three hitters do up. Nagel, Sabachka, and Booth. And Isaiah is 0 for 2 today with a ground out to short. He reached on an error in the third inning and was hit by a pitch in the fifth inning. And it is still Keston Holman who's out on the mound for Nebraska City in what has been an incredible pitcher's duel here on this Tuesday evening. Right down the center strike one, one and one the count. I was trying to see if I could find the Platte Valley score today. So the winner of this game will take on either Plattsmith or Platte Valley. And I don't see an update as far as that score potentially goes. Let's see. Can look at one other place. Next pitch, it's grounded, or popped up, I should say, over to left and caught by Flash. Boy, he has been really good out there in left field today for Nebraska City as he's had a couple of line drives that have been hit his way. 88, 88 pitches is the count on Holman. Correct me if I'm wrong, it's 110 that you, is, is kind of your max, 110 in the month of April. So Holman's still got some time left. It's now the lefty Carson Sabatka standing in. He's 0 for 3 today with a ground out to second and short and then a strikeout in the third. Pitch, strike called on the outside part of the zone. A really good pitch as well. This pitch misses outside, and that's what they like to say is a big league take. Breaking pitch outside, and it's ball four. And it's a one-out base run off of a great at-bat from Carson Sabatka. That is the first walk of the day for Wahoo. The first one of the day. And it comes in the bottom of the eighth inning. How about that? So a huge spot here for Connor Booth who's one for three today with a leadoff single in the fourth. First pitch swinging, it's hit out to left. Cut off by Van Winkle, going first to third and sliding in safely. The winning run stands at third off the single from Connor Booth. Carson Zabotka goes first to third. Connor Booth, a single hit out to left center field. Cut off by Van Winkle nicely to prevent a run. But you have runners at the corners now with one out. Come on, five. 
So really, anything put into the outfield now will win this game. And it's Nolan Van Slyke at the plate as Connor Booth goes to second without a throw on the steal. Warriors trying to walk it off against Nebraska City here in the bottom of the eighth. Nolan Van Slyke, he's 0 for 2 today. Looks at a strike on the outside part of the zone. Van Slyke had a strikeout in the second inning and then flew out to right back in the sixth inning. Runner at third is Sabatka. Booth stands at second. Van Slyke at the plate against Keston Holman. The pitch high and outside, ball high and inside, ball one. One ball, two strikes, one out, two on. Here in the bottom of the eighth, tied at one. Wahoo trying to walk it off in the first round of the Trailblazer Conference Tournament. Van Slyke, swung on. It's sent out to left field, and it is caught by Flash. Tagging and winning is Wahoo Newman. An RBI sacrifice five for Nolan Van Slyke wins it for the Warriors as Carson Sabatka's walk is the difference today for the Warriors in a victory. So in that inning, it was one hit, one walk, one run, two left on. The Warriors win it by a final score of 2-1 to one and improved to 10-3 on the season. A heck of a game from Keston Holman today for the Warriors. He was absolutely spectacular. Eli Johnston was just as good. He gave up five hits. And we'll look up at all of our stats. We'll break this one down for you as the Warriors walk it off here on their home field. Final score, it's Wahoo Newman 2, Nebraska City 1. You've been tuning in to Warrior Baseball in Saunders County Online and Wahoo Public YouTube. We're going to thank our sponsors. And when we come back, we are going to talk to Warrior pitcher Eli Johnston. Don't go anywhere. If you're looking for a new career, Dollar General is looking for you. Hiring all positions and all shifts, they are looking for you with a starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. You can find details by going to dollargeneral.com slash careers or by texting DG Warehouse to 25000. Must be 18 or older, but again, starting pay up to $22 an hour with a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Contact them now, dollargeneral.com slash careers. Good to get our new Wahoo Warrior branded debit card. Every transaction gives back to Wahoo Public Schools. All you need is a First Bank of Nebraska checking account and ask for the Warrior card. For more information, go to firstbanknebraska.com.